Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Today's the 1st of January and while I'm not working, I wanted to talk to you anyway. If this is the first video you're watching, my name is Natalie and I run a small business while also living with a whole bunch of health challenges. And my shop is basically about living with chronic illness, chronic pain and mental health conditions. So like I said, today's the 1st of January. These vlogs are recorded three to four weeks before they come out. I hope the wind is not too loud. Um, and I wanted to talk about, I have been banned from Facebook in the beginning of December. There was a whole video about that. I'll put that link, link that up here. Um, but something that has been happening for a little while now is that my The Unchargeables Instagram account has been shadow banned. If you don't know what shadow banning is, basically they will allow you to have your account, but they won't show you to new people. You won't end up in discovery and basically you won't gain new followers. So this has been happening probably for about two, three months. I have 25,000 followers and it has stayed that way. For the past two or three months now i literally don't know why we're being shadow banned except for we're talking about um health and disability raising awareness for disability um they keep giving me the um, like notification that we have to turn location on because if you gain a lot of followers they need to know where you are well the location has been on for a while um, and for at first I thought that was the real issue, but now after so many months seeing that, you know, the followers stay the same, nothing new is happening. And yeah, so we're basically shadow banned. Um, let me turn so you see the sun is coming through the clouds a little bit. And I don't really know what to do about that. Um, I also have another Instagram account that's for the Chargemoles. Those are little monsters that represent different um, physical and mental health conditions. And I am working on building up that. And I want to make that my main focus because the Unchargeables is mainly about chronic illness. It's a very like closed topic. While the Chargemoles is about health in general. It can be from chronic illness to rare diseases to mental health to people just being tired and being, you know, foggy in the brain, like having brain mist and stuff like that, or people with reduced mobility. So it's a way broader um, audience, which I just want to spread awareness, positivity and spread like these positive messages and, and words and stuff like that. So yeah i just wanted to share that with you on this first day of the year that i hadn't talked about in my vlogs yet um like i said i'm not working i haven't been working for a little while um i skipped a week with filming so i'm just gonna document the start of a new year so let's make it a good one talk to you another day I'm at tier 6,000 in Amazon merch. If you don't know what that means, if you sell on merch um, in Amazon, then there's tier. So you start with 10 and they have 25 and then you have, I think it's 100. And every time the amount of sales that you have and the amount of products that you have live um, kind of dictate which tier you're on. And I've made it to level 6,000. So now I'm allowed to have 6,000 products on my merch account. And here you can see I have 3,481. So yay, I can add a whole bunch more. That's awesome.
gonna do some food shopping through this rain and yes it's super dark and it's what is it's 1 p.m but it's super dark because there's literally like no light so let's go it's been a long time since i had to go out in rain like this anymore yep. now we're gonna go home the skies are blue over there but we live over there let's see if it's gonna be dry by the time we get home gosh what a day and how much rain has fallen here <laughs> so we made it back just in time for the sun to come out it did rain after as well but uh, I had to be back in time for a call because I had another call with B from the A Linker company and that is our new collaboration and we're writing a story for them so super excited about all of that. We have, were discussing all the details and I am feeling really good about it. And I'm super excited. And I feel like this is going to be like a long collaboration. I can see a future with the people in this company. Yesterday, I already spoken with... Um, the person who handles their uh, crowdfunding because an A-Linker is a, a new type of mobility device. It's like a walking bike for adults. So if you have mobility issues, but you still have movement in your legs, it is a very groundbreaking device to use. I absolutely love the concept. Um, so I'm 100% for the idea and uh, I totally want to connect the charger malls to their company. Super proud. Um, the reason we're connecting like this is because they are making an A-Linker for children and linking the charger malls to that would be uh, a fun thing for them. And we can kind of cross promote and grow together basically. So B, the CEO and owner is an amazing woman. I loved her from the first moment I spoke to her. We've had three or four calls now. I don't even know, but we always talk for like an hour or two hours. And I don't know, she is very 
inspiring, motivating, excited, full of ideas. And I feel like we have some things really in common. So yeah, it's always just really nice to talk to her. So I just got off the phone with her and I have my list of things to do. And uh, for the past week, I actually haven't been working at all. So I just had my call for like an hour and I've been like writing some notes for like, I don't know, 10 minutes and doing some research for another 20 minutes. And that was it literally in the entire day. Um, this call really did give me motivation. But I have been super tired, even though I upped my dose of thyroid medicine that I need, that I take for my Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune design, disease of the thyroid. And my thyroid is going too slow, like it's not making enough um, hormones and that makes me really tired. And I've upped my dose a week ago because um, I can do like minor adjustments like myself without a doctor being involved. I can up it a little bit more. I'm debating if I should do that or not. Right now it's not so easy just to get like blood work done and stuff. So I'm probably gonna just try it and see if I feel better. Um, that was basically what has been going on so far. I literally didn't really do a lot. So I hope to talk to you soon again. Good morning. It is Friday, end of the morning. It's quarter to 12. I put a new card up on my wall. It says, take time to make your soul happy. I don't know, you cannot see it with the glare. But yay, I can reveal that one. That was from the Chorgy Fest box. Let me turn the camera so you can see better. There we go. That's it. Take time to make your soul happy. That was um, the box that I also have the wooden ornaments for. Super cute. I think it is the box that I'm most proud of right now. Look at these. These are the ones that I put in my Christmas tree. I've showed this in the vlog before, but um, they're made of wood, of plywood, birch, plywood. Um, and it's like sustainably sourced. I don't know how you sustainably source trees, but apparently it's a thing. And uh, yeah, that's for the Chargy Fest box. Um, these are the pin boxes that I'm talking about that I have for my Patreon members. Um, if you are interested, there's a link in the description that goes to Patreon and you can become part of the, the pin box club and every month you will get exciting stuff sent to you in a, well, this one is dotted, but I have different envelopes um, with a nice sticker. And you'll know there's fun stuff in there. So <clears throat> I haven't been structurally working for like probably three weeks. <clears throat> I took some like real time off. I was not filming. I was not working, not even an hour. And this past week I've been working like an hour a day, mostly um, having different calls and stuff. But from today on, it is the 8th of January. I'm trying to get some structure back in my working day and, and work on my, on my goals that I have for the year. One of the goals is to put way more stickers on Etsy and also in my shop. Um, I have so many ideas for stickers that I should just make some. Um, another goal is to try and get my shop to rank better in Google or in search engines. I sort of know what I'm supposed to do and I've been wanting to do it for like three years, but I haven't because it's a lot of work. It's like a big task and it seems so daunting. 
but I just have to like break it down and start, especially because Facebook and Instagram are not cooperating with me. And that was always my primary focus for marketing, for growth, for reaching people, but it's been super difficult. And it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna like put any effort in uh, the social medias anymore, but it does mean that I'm going to put more of my effort in trying to rank um, so that I at least get some more people finding the shop from, from Google. Um, so what do I wanna do today? <clears throat> what I have on my list is schedule some posts to the social media because I don't have anything scheduled. And another thing I have is that I can make an update on my Kickstarter page because the plushies are done. These plushies, oops, um, that I uh, funded through Kickstarter and the little plush keychain. The bulk is done. It has been shipped yesterday. They sent me some videos and some pictures and it's time to update the people on Kickstarter. And I think I can email that out as well, actually. Um, and I can also make that into a social media post. So let's do that. I'm gonna make a post about Plushies being done and being shipped. It's gonna take two months before it arrives. It goes like by container on a boat and then in a train. And anyway, uh, I'm super excited for it. Either way, at some point it's gonna arrive and then it can be shipped off to, um, to the people who pledged. And there are still a bunch that I can also sell in the shop. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'll come back to you later and let you know if I've actually done anything. When you are familiar, don't mind me. yummy my love cooked me my lunch today i actually did a lot in three hours i have like written four emails i made like 10 social media posts for the next 10 days um i made a kickstarter update um what else did i do I have recorded clips for my studio vlog, which I'm gonna put on my computer like now. And it has been quite productive, but I'm super tired. So I'm gonna do one more hour and then I'm probably gonna take a nap. It's now 4 p.m. The last thing of the day that I did was make a mystery pack sale so we've made me and tracy my right hand woman have made mystery packs with um items that have a retail value of 25 to 30 dollars and i'm selling them for 10 dollars because it's a surprise pack and you don't know what you're gonna get we made 50. i've never done a sale like this before so i have no clue how popular it will be but I just posted it on all the social medias. Let's see how it goes. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna send an email about it too. Um, let's see how popular it is. What else did I do? I have put all of these clips for the studio vlog on, um, on my computer. And it is really time for me to start editing. I'm not gonna do that today because I'm done. I'm gonna like, 
There's a whole bunch of videos that I want to see. Uh, there's a Netflix show I'm watching. There's a whole bunch of YouTube channels I'm following. And I want to catch up on a lot of videos. So I'm going to call it a day for today. And hopefully I'm going to do some editing tomorrow. Let's see. Sunday. I don't know what time it is to be honest. Probably somewhere in the afternoon, like one or two. I had plans for this weekend, like work wise, and I did nothing. <laughs> I think in this entire week I have worked half a day and like an hour a day on some days. So I was planning for this to be the week that I return to some sort of productivity, but yeah, that hasn't happened. It has been very stormy and rainy all week. It is still raining and it's cold. Um, and I'm just hanging out with the cats. There's the one and there's one hiding. <laughs> and yeah, we're just hanging out in bed. And that's about it. I thought maybe in the afternoon I'm gonna do some work, but I'm not. Tomorrow the Christmas holiday has ended and school starts again. So maybe if i get back into the routine of taking my daughter to school um i will also get in the routine of working let's see i had many plans for this year i did write like my to-do lists and my goals and <clears throat> all of that stuff i have to wash my hair which i'm also not going to be doing today <laughs> um but yeah, again, I have three weeks of unedited studio vlogs. I did keep recording here and there. I don't know if there's any sort of storyline, <laughs> as always. Um, but I'm going to leave it there this week. I hope it was interesting enough to watch and that from next week on, I'll have actual like work updates to share with you but until that happens it's just me hanging out when I started these vlogs I said I will film everything like when I'm working when I'm not working when I'm too tired or have a migraine or whatever that's living life with chronic illness and running a business at the same time so this is it <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next week.